Hi everyone, I'm not sure whether uh, it's too late to say this, but I want to say again, Happy New Year to you. And at the start of 2018, I want to just share a little devotional thought with you today to help you uh, in your day today. Uh, you know, here at Life Central, we've started this new year with a brand new series called Awakening, Finding Your Way Back to God. And uh, this, is, this is a really important subject. You know, I don't know whether you've ever got yourself lost. Have you ever been lost? You know, it's a horrible feeling and, and maybe, you know, if you're in a theme park or you're in a, a new city and you don't know where you are, you find a big map and you know where you want to go. But when you go to the map, the, mo the thing that you look at is not where you want to go, but you look at those three words, you are here. Because if you don't know where you are, then you don't know how you're going to get to where you want to go. Uh, and getting lost is a horrible feeling. Uh, and in this series, we're looking at what I believe is the greatest short story that has ever been told. And it's in Luke chapter 15. Commonly, it's called the parable of the prodigal son. Uh, but it really isn't so much about the prodigal son. It's about the father and it's about these two sons. And these two sons, I believe, represent mankind. The younger son is the rebellious son who goes away from the father's house. The older son, he's not rebellious, but he's religious. Both of them are lost in terms of proximity to the love of the father. You know, every single human being, you know, we're created in the image of God. You know, the, the gospel story is that God created us, God lost us, and God wants us back. And God has won us back by sending Jesus. But, you know, it's possible for any one of us to be disconnected and to get lost from God. And we need to find our way back home. We need to find our way back to God. And in this series, we're looking at five awakenings. And the first awakening that I looked at on Sunday was an awakening to longing. The youngest son had an awakening to longing. He knew there must be more than this. The problem was he looked in all the wrong places. I want to encourage you at the start of 2018, how's your longing going on? You know, are you longing for more in life? And, and I talked on Sunday about three awakenings to longing that I believe God wants to bring. I think he wants uh, to awaken us to a longing for intimacy with him. I, I believe also he wants to awaken us to a longing for uh, destiny, a sense that we're here on this planet to contribute and for purpose and for reason. And then thirdly, I think he wants to awaken us to a longing for legacy, to invest ourselves into others in a way that will live on beyond ourselves. You know, I want to say to you at the start of 2018, if you don't feel that longing inside of you, then I want to pray that God would awaken it. And just like when you wake up in the morning and the alarm clock rings and you want to hit the snooze button and you want to go back to sleep, you know, God wants us to wake up to longing. He has created us for so much more than this. And this year, as he awakens our longing for him, we're going to become the people who not only find our way back to God, but help other people find their way back to God also. God bless you, everyone. Have a great day. Have a great year and have a great week this week as well. God bless you.